Hello there, my name is Noor Dean and I'm a medical student studying here in the UK. As someone who's constantly trying to better themselves, I often find that I hit a certain wall at a certain point in time. I never know why I hit this wall and you might feel the same. Sometimes you, know, you struggle to find a good job. Sometimes you want to grow your business but you find that it's stagnating. Other times you're trying to make content and you just don't know what to make it on. Maybe you want a promotion or maybe you just want to do well in your studies. Whatever it is, sometimes we all just slam into a wall oh no. and it's difficult to know how to get out of this rut that we're in and one way of doing it is learning skills why do we need to learn skills there are three reasons why learning skills is important number one your uni degree doesn't matter as much as you think it does having gone through the education system throughout my life I have done one university degree, I did neuroscience, and now I'm studying medicine. The first degree was in neuroscience. At the time, I found it fascinating. I went into that field because I was personally interested in it. What I found as I was looking for career options was that this degree wasn't enough to get into a job I wanted. With this degree, I could get into a few decent jobs, but to go for the really good jobs, there was something that needed to set me apart from the other candidates. Something that, unfortunately, I lacked. And you might lack as well. That's because nowadays everybody has a university degree. It's a lot easier to get into uni than say 10, 20 years ago. It's almost seen as a guarantee that you have to go to uni when you finish your A-levels in the UK. And what this means is that there will be a lot of people that have the exact same degree as you. And that's not all. Competition is as thick as ever. The global availability of the internet has made it so offices don't need physical space anymore. People can just work online. And what's easier to hire someone living in a developed country who requires a high wage or to hire someone living in a faraway country like India or China who may require less wages. And that is where a lot of companies are currently going. So you might find yourself without a job very soon unless you learn some skills. And the third reason why skills are important, it is extremely hard to be in the top 1% of any skill. And you may be that special person, but the majority of us, unfortunately, we just lack that kind of specialized training that a lot of athletes may have had from a young age. And so getting into the top 1% of a skill like football or cricket and to make the good money to achieve real success is difficult. What can we do about these issues? To learn more skills. I've said the word learn skills multiple times, but what does it actually mean to have skills? Skills are abilities. Think of a character in a game. The base character you get will be the most basic level of character. He won't be able to do much, but as you advance, as you learn more things, you'll be able to do more and more and more. You'll be able to stack those skills one on top of the other. That's something we will come back to. The important thing to understand is that your current skill set may be lacking, and that may be why you've hit that wall. So, what you need to do to succeed in your chosen field, be it studying medicine or growing your social media business, what you need to do is learn more skills. So, how are we going to learn all these skills that are going to make us? better people. There's a concept called talent stacking. It comes from a writer and cartoonist named Scott Adams. Each of us has a unique set of skills. Let's take someone like Elon Musk. Everybody knows who he is. He's one of the billionaires that is shaping the history of humanity. What makes him different to you and me? Elon Musk was an avid gamer as a child and he started his career by learning computer programming. Programming then led to designing websites and applications. He used his networking skills to meet some high up business people in America. He used his programming skills to create PayPal. PayPal sold to eBay for 
billions of dollars and also his engineering degree came in handy to create SpaceX a rocket company and Tesla a car company among some other ones. If Elon Musk had only been a computer programmer he would have lacked the business acumen to create an app like PayPal. If he hadn't had the social skills to find people who would help him he wouldn't have been able to get that group together to make PayPal in the first place and if he didn't have his engineering background he wouldn't be able to create all these different companies that are shaping humanity so what does this mean for you by learning different skills and stacking them one on top of the other this can create in you a very unique talent which will hopefully get you the results you're looking for and the best thing about talent stacking is that you don't need to be in the top 1% of your chosen skill to succeed no Scott Adams wasn't the greatest at drawing but he was all right and that is what led to his success as a cartoonist. All you need to be is just a little bit better than average at all the skills that you have. All you have to do is just learn some skills, pick things that you enjoy and just practice them. Find a good teacher. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. There's plenty of resources online. There's websites like Skillshare, Masterclass, YouTube tutorials, so many resources you can use. And the best way to go about learning skills is to learn one skill at a time. Just save an hour in the day and learn the skill of your choice. And who knows, this could help you grow your business, help you become a better student. It can do so much for you. All you have to do is just take that first step and start stacking your skills one on top of the other. So there you have it. I'll include some resources down below. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Sometimes learning isn't as simple as YouTube videos might say it is. Have you had any problems, anything that I haven't covered when it comes to learning skills? If you do, please comment them down below. I promise you I'll read all the comments and offer any help I can, or at least one of my followers will be smart enough to answer your question. And at the end of the day, all we can do is try our best. I love hearing from you guys, so please reach out to me if you ever need anything. If you have anything you want me to make a video on, if you're applying to med school, a personal statement, a UCAT, if you need help with how to learn, I'll be making more videos of this in the future, but please just reach out to me. I'm available in the avenues I've written below and that's all from me today if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and also turn your notifications on so you don't miss any episodes my name is Nuruddin and I will see you later